Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily and today it's time for another package review. And today on our package review is Laravel Widgets package. Pretty popular, uh, first quit four years ago but updated nine months so it's not that, it's not abandoned or anything. Has 600 stars and it's used to add widgets to your blade. And it sounds pretty obvious and it seems that there's no need for that but you you can use like includes for blades then extends and a lot of uh, the structures that are available in blade but in this video I will show you exactly why that widget package is useful and what can you do with it so by default after you install the package you can make a widget a widget is basically a thing that you can add to anywhere to any dashboard any blade any web page so kind of a include you can call it include uh, and usually typically widget is a table of data with some filter like top five news top five articles recent users something like that so in this example on github uh, they generate a widget called recent news uh, and it generates this file. So a recent a class app widgets recent news uh, empty and referring to the view widgets recent news and it automatically also generates the view file this resources views recent news and then you can customize the widget uh, kind of data inside of that class and then whenever you're ready you can call this widget with this blade command. So this is pretty simple and I will show you the demo project that I've created for myself. So we have a dashboard here with just return view home. And on that view we have, let me open it for you, we have this. So it's a small, a small demo project, admin panel, with offices, countries and cities. And let's say I want to show latest offices and random cities. Uh, so these are two widgets. One widget is random cities, latest offices. Let's start with that. So the left one is latest offices and to show that all I need to do is uh, eloquent query the data that I need and pass that into the view. So it's really similar that you would have to do that in controller but controller would be empty, uh, controller would be shorter and the whole logic is in the widget class and then your latest offices would widget blade file is just a simple blade again like you would have a general any blade so no syntax from the package here and then it generates that uh, block uh, and that is pretty simple as I said you would uh, you would be able to generate that with simple blade so no package needed here but now the magic starts uh, the customization thing for random cities for example here I uh, have a config parameter, so you can uh, reuse the same widget in different pages with different parameters. So for example, by default you need five random cities, but if you want to show that widget on another page, you would change that count to 10 or to 3 or to whatever. So let's imagine I want to change that to 3 and in controller, no not in controller, in the blade that I'm calling this, I just add array as parameter 3 and let's see if it shows 3 cities refresh and there we go we have 3 cities so with this parameter or actually you can add any parameters in your uh, config array you can customize that to show different kind of data for different cases for different user different page or something like that and then there are two more things I want to show you uh, with those widgets, uh, that's, that's the trick that actually sold me on using the widget. Instead of widget, you can call a sync widget. A sync widget, also a sync widget. And let's see what it will show now. See? It loads empty and then shows the widget with Ajax call with JavaScript after the load. And that is what, what usually is done uh, in current modern web pages. So front end first and then the data comes up. So that is a better way. And uh, notice that I didn't change anything else. So I didn't add any JavaScript, any Ajax, anything. It just works by changing the blade uh, command from widget to async widget. 
And not only that, uh, final probably trick I will show you is uh, another parameter called 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 reloadable. So reload timeout ten. Uh, it could be placed in here. Uh, so latest offices, for example, in the class. Let's put reload timeout ten. And now I will show you what it does. So if we open the page in another tab, same admin, and let's try to add another office. So we have a dashboard. In one tab we will have, so this is the tab with our dashboard, and this is the tab to add one more office. Let's put London, actually let's refresh the dashboard first. Okay, it loads well, so address is something and phone is something. We submit invalid number. Okay, uh, we'll show you. Okay, valid number now it should be okay. And now let's go to our dashboard and let's see what happens in 10 seconds or so. It should refresh. As it did, I didn't click anything. So the dashboard is reloaded or that widget is reloaded every 10 seconds or every the amount of seconds that you specified in this widget. So those two features are actually selling points to use that uh, widget package to have that customizable with parameters and to have that async uh, easily, easily load and also with uh, reload timeout 10 so you can create a beautiful dashboard with a few widgets that are async and reloadable. I hope this mini review was useful. The package itself again the URL is Arilot Laravel widgets. I hope it was helpful and see you in the next videos.